Ayo, what is up everybody? It's your boy Wildcat Bold here. Welcome back to a brand new video for you guys here today. And today guys, we are now on episode 2 guys of SWATCast The Radical Squadron Season 2. And guys, like I've always said, every single time we've done one of these videos, you should already know by now. If you guys have not seen the previous episode I did on SWATCast, I'm gonna encourage you guys to please go check it out. Second season of SWATCast. What can I say about that? Honestly, I like it so far. I really love season two for the animation, the, the darker tone it was going for, and most of all, that catchy theme song, dude. This theme song by far is what I think is the best one compared to the first one. Overall, episode is pretty good. We got to see Viper. We got to see um, a couple of darker elements in that in season two. It's something I'm starting to like so far. And one of you guys mentioned earlier that the animation style that was done in this show was actually done for Scooby-Doo Zombie Island, which I thought looked familiar, personally. Honestly, dude, I'm, I'm excited for season for episode two so far, because we've gone this far into SWAT Cats. I might as well check out the second season. And I'm very excited to check out episode two. So yeah, that's my talking. Let's get right into the video. Let's check out episode two, guys. A SWAT Cats Radical Squad Gen. Here we go. Yeah. Dude, I just, oh, uh, this theme song. Wish we would have got that for season one. Can't stop watching, bro. Ooh. So beautiful. Ah. Oh. Uh, Taskmaster, some weird kind of dragon snake or whatever, I don't know what it is. Dark Cat and Dr. Viper. Ah, yeah! Episode 2, here we go! Today's episode is called A Bright and Shiny Future. Give us story. Robert Alvarez, never seen this point. Is David Litterman Show? That guy's still around? What's he doing? Rock cat? Rock cat? It's kind of weird. Just came in. Hey, don't I know you? You look kind of familiar. <laughs> it's me, Pop. Chance. Chance Furlong. Furlong. <laughs> you always did like I didn't know the last name was Furlong. And you God, how did I forget me. that? I watched this like almost first the first season. Yeah, same old pop. Yeah, I wanted to be a good guy, just like the cat commandos. I was so proud when I heard you became an enforcer. I always hoped you had a shiny future. But then I heard that yeah. we got booted out of the enforcer. Yeah, no one knows yeah. let's talk about well, that. That wasn't exactly our fault. We're still trying to be good guys, though. <laughs> you take care of yourself now, pop. This neighborhood doesn't seem to be getting any better. Old Pop Perkins is a survivor. It's true. Whose car is that? I'm curious. Well, you might not get us back in time that lightning tells me I think the past matches in this episode. Hey, you said you could read that first. You'd rather I drive? No way. <laughs> okay, you can read it, but don't bend the pages. Wonder who's back. What the hell? Her skin's like white. It's the past He's back. How did he get back to the sun? I'm curious. How did he get from here to here? The Enforcers. Ooh. R.I.P. How did he get there? Hey, they modified the tow truck. Nice. How did he get here? I want to know. Oh, it's this chicken. Was it fe feline or something? Like that? Forgot. Oh, Melina, that was her name. Her name was Fila or something. <laughs> I don't. Her design looks weird. I'm sorry. Too human-like. All right, take it out. Let's go. Oh, did you get him? Up, oh, and he fell. Alright, we'll get him. You got him, Ash Master. Where can we drop you off, Lieutenant? Thanks, but I can find my own way down. What is with 
him and trying to send the podcast to the past. It's always been like a mission for him to do that. Yeah. See, the detail is so great. I like this. Whoa, what the hell is that? That a dragon? Yep, and they're going back in time again, I'm thinking. What is with him and always trying to put them in a different time? Like, is that like the whole thing that he's always trying to do? Now his skin looks way whiter. I remember it used to be a little bit tanned. Oh, they're in the future? Oh, okay. All right. Smart, smart. Yeah, where are we? What? They're back again too? Up. Oh, well, that didn't go well for him. <laughs> yeah, don't trust many gangsters. <laughs> the coloring of the characters looks kind of... See, I feel like, what's his name? Um, like... Razor should be like a little more orange, personally. And there goes the watch. Come on, SWAT cats. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> hey, that's, that's the... Tile of the video. <laughs> Tile the show, sorry. Gotta it, you gotta do something, bro. Ooh, pull up, pull up, pull up. Nice. Yes. Woo. Nice. Ooh. Damn. Oh, damn. It's a work camp now. Hey, man. Calm down. You gotta hurt the man. Jesus. Look. It's the swamp cats. It's been taking over, bro. There's no way. Like if they're in the future, the where's everyone else at? Where's Farrell and Malin or and Callie? Where are those guys? And the male. They're still alive. What is a city? What is a city? What is a city? Everything. They can't swamp. Damn, okay, well. Uh oh. This guy likes nothing. <laughs> no chill, these guys are just finding him. Oh, it's the enforcers. Oh. Hey, Callie! Part of the future I like. <laughs> Come now, guy. We Jake and Cali fans. I saw it with my own eyes. Your jet exploded. How did you two hotshots manage to get out? Because this is Swat Cats guy. Uh, so glad to see you back, Swat Cats. Dang, we all got old. That crazy past master drove oh. here. He was mumbling something about changing our future. The backstory. My peaceful robots were doing much of the work in Mega Cat City. I killed the past master of us. <sighs> this guy. Oh my god. The doctor, man. And he. Why aren't they destroyed yet? Why haven't they been blasted? Cremated. Put it in the lava. I don't care. See, I don't know what this doctor was thinking. Yeah, this is not good. Not good at all. Not good. Oh. Oh. 
Oh no! Damn. They went out like that? We need all the help we can get, Spot Cats! Surprise they found this <laughs> this far off. Get going. Yeah. Okay. Dang, alright. Why are they, they gonna take him out? They gotta get the clock, so they gotta take out Mac and Molly. Alright, let's see. Looks like we're still in one piece, bud. For now. But what about the others? The mayor and Miss Briggs are gone, and it's all my fault. How is he still alive, personally? I, I thought by then he, his old age would have caught up to him. I'm just saying. If I could get into Metallicat headquarters to reprogram the central robot control matrix. Impossible. My enforcers tried that, yeah. and we're all that's left. But oh, you them too? The turbo cast. But perhaps if we all work together, we can fix your jet. Yeah, okay. Oh, Alright, nice. Let's get the turbo Why cast in the air. Always an inventor. <laughs> MK? No, stupid. They're gonna help us round up all the stray cats. Don't turn on the camera. All these years, you never thought to kill them. Just saying. With a warning to all non-metallic creatures. What? You what are you gonna do? Wait. See, why is the the color of the characters keeps changing? See all you cat whips by sunrise. Alright, well, let's see what happens. You better win. And his whole episode is all metallic. You don't get a ticket for running stoplights, bud. Yeah. Ooh, they got him. Yeah, that was quick too. Yeah. Yeah. Did a good job so far. Sorry, I couldn't save the cyclotron. Nope. At least you're Big okay, rip. But Big rip to too. Hurry. It's almost sunrise. Get your metal paws off me. You're coming with us. It's, it's Pops. Save Pops, man. Oh. What is this guy? Terminator? Oh, okay. Alright, nice. Good job. Well, it's your fault. Yeah. Down, we're all gonna wind up in a Metallicat work camp. Then you'll have to help us get in to defeat the Metallicats. Yep, that's true, man. I have an idea that's just crazy enough to work. Well, good morning, master. Ready to be destroyed in front of a live TV audience? Yeah, let's do it. This is all your fault, master. See, the colors keep changing. Why are they doing that? Again, it was ninety, so I will, you know. The enforcers are flying it? Where are the swamp cats? The swamp cats are right behind you, Molly. Wow. <laughs> Molly, they sorted out the robot control matrix. Name my watch. Gotta get back to the get gotta get back to the past, man. Come on. Hey, he is small. He is small. That's a surprise, all these years, he never thought of destroying Mac and Molly, he just kept them. Up and they're almost out of here. Hurry up! And they're gone. Glad you can make it, Lieutenant. We'll handle it from here. Let's go. Why is he on television all of a sudden? All right, come on, dudes. We've got to take these guys out. Nice. Destroy those non-metallic SWAT cats. My reprogramming has begun. What? From now on, robots and cat kind will live in harmony once more. No, traitor! 
thought they were attached to his arms. Like, like automatic. I didn't know they were actually portable. Nope. Hope you enjoy the Hell no. Come on. You gotta get in there. Yep, you knew he was gonna do it. Come on. Almost there in the pass. Let's go. You made it. Yep, yep. Oh, yep, and he's going. Whoop. Oh, thank God. He still got the comic. <laughs> I thought he got rid of it or lost it in the the future. Woo! All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. okay. Woo! Okay, episode two. What did I think of it so far? All right, first off. I have some questions that need to be addressed. Hopefully, my Discord buddies will address this. Why are Mac and Molly and the old man... Well, why didn't the old man and Mac destroy Mac and Molly when he had the chance? Also, how, it didn't really... I mean, it kind of explained what how they got powerful and all that stuff, but... I don't know. I just... Something in me. And plus, the old man is still building robots. By that time, I think I would have retired and stopped building them, personally. Another thing too, I think the colors kept the colors kept changing back and forth. That was one thing that was kind of weird and strange. I don't know what happened. Maybe it was just, maybe just bad animation error or something. I'm not sure. So, besides that, what did I think of episode two? Overall, episode was pretty good. I really enjoyed it for the fact that we got to see the Metallic Cat. The past master really didn't have much to do in this episode. Just be like the flawed or not the flawed. Just be like the the side character in this episode, even though he did put him in the future, but swap it to the future. Overall, episode was pretty decent. I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty good, but just, I don't know, it just made me so mad and angry. I don't know why, I was, I was like that a lot. Yeah, episode was pretty dope, I really enjoyed it, and uh, I hope, hopefully you guys will check out episode two when you get a chance. Besides that, I wanna thank y'all for watching this video. If you like, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I will be doing more reactions in the future. So if you have anything you wanna check out in the future, please let me know in the comment section down this video or any one of my videos. But besides that, Thank y'all for watching. This is Wildcat Bolt. And I'll see you all later.